Hey everybody, it's Martha. Welcome back to my Shabby Craft Studio. Pull up a cup of tea or coffee or wine or whatever your drink of choice is. <laughs> Today we are here for prompt number 16 for April 14, uh, 18th. April 18th, 418. Use a recycled envelope and decorate it by collaging on it. Be creative in the way you use them as pockets, flips, or tuck spots. If you want to make more than one, go for it. Who can make just one? I mean, really, when you're collaging envelopes, is there any such thing as making just one? So I do have a lot of um, pockets in here that don't have anything in it. I might make something to stick in a pocket. Um, I don't have anything in there. I don't have anything in here. And so I might do that. Um, or I have some pages back here that could use you know, something on them as another pocket maybe, or we'll see. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we do. That one's pretty plain. I could use an envelope for that. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, and you don't have to use them as pockets, flips, or tuck spots. And we're going to, we're going to play with that thought process too. You can use a recycled envelope for just about anything. Let me get a sip Unfortunately, that's decaf, and it's gotten quite cool because I was wasting time. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've been in a weird mood lately. I am recording this ahead of time, just so you know, uh, like um, way ahead of time. I have a lot of plans for this year, and so some of that is going to require me to continue to record ahead of time and you know that's okay that's fun because then when it comes up then you forget what you've done that far ahead of time <laughs> at least I do yeah 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 I like that I, I like that <clears throat> now uh it is spring here in Virginia and I do suffer with allergies so please bear with me while I deal with that. What I'm going to do, I am actually, I thought I had some, well, I do have some that are already open, but you know what? We're, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're, we're just going to open this one up. Maybe. Um, my husband took my letter opener. <laughs> I forgot. In order for him to open the letters without tearing them too much apart, like uh, like this one got, right? But I want the window on this one, so that's why I'm taking this one instead of the one that's too torn apart. But anyway, I got him to start using a letter opener. However, for him not to bug me every time he comes in with the mail... I had to give him the letter opener, and it's out in the kitchen, which isn't that far away, and I really could go get it. This, this isn't going all that well. All right, come on. Gentle as she goes. I see other people do this, and it always turns out so well. Oh, look. That's not half bad. I might say myself. Okay. Oh. Put the scissors back where they belong. I think. I think, I uh, think, um, book. All right, let's play. First plan, because <laughs> I don't do that very well. Yeah, planning is not my strong point. You might have noticed that if you've been following me for any length of time. Planning is not my strong suit. Planning ahead is even less of a strong suit. And what I did was, I just pulled out Oh no, don't do that Okay I pulled out um, just a bunch of leftover stuff here that I've, you know, I've torn off bits and pieces for other things Okay Well, actually, I might keep Let's see for that, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. I can fix that. I 
can. I can fix that. Because, actually, actually, as Carol would say, actually, hmm, brain. Engage the brain, Martha. It's been a few days since I did anything, like a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a while, yeah. All right, I should have left a little on that side. I'm going to keep... Okay. Got to think it out. I think I'm going to tear that, and I'm going to... I'm going to... I hate it when I say that. I've been doing it so much lately. All right, I think I am going to let that hang over the top. I'm going to put paper on the back to secure that. I will take this flap and this flap off. Okay. Oh, well, we thought part of it out. <laughs> we shall see how the rest of it goes. So I hope this finds everybody doing well. Let me know below if you've gotten your vaccine. If you have, lucky you. Uh, we did get our first ones. We got the Pfizer. And I've heard lots of different um, feedback on how people have felt afterwards. So I'm going to get... You know, I'm not going to use... Never mind. <laughs> Ignore that thought. <laughs> uh, golly gee whizzikers, Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. Okay. I know I have some of this somewhere else too, but I'm just going to cover. This is my calendar. Um, I found these in Walmart last year, just before COVID shutdown started. They were a dollar a piece for 12 pages on the big, uh, you know, desk or wall hanging calendar. And absolutely love them, tea dyed them all, and probably shouldn't have. Well, I didn't tea dye them all. Well, actually, <laughs> truth be told, Tony tea dyed most of them. I did a few. And um, I have a lot left. I mean, I'm tempted to go back and find them again, but honest to goodness, I don't need them. But what a bargain. I mean, look at all the paper I get, and you can use either side. So, yeah, it's it was a bargain, to say the least. All right, I am trying to get this lined because it'll strengthen the envelope. And it will, oh, Martha, it will strengthen the envelope and it will keep anything that goes in and out of the envelope from catching on this loose um, cellophane stuffy that's in the envelope. All right, I'm going to do this because I just tear it. <laughs> Tear it in one big piece. And then tear the separate pieces down. Like, like I need it to be that wide. So I'll do probably this. So we are having a really nice day out today. It's cool, it's windy, it's sunny, it's the perfect spring day, the pollen is floating around the air. <laughs> yeah, I know, because it's springtime in Virginia. It's been a while. So, yep, my glue does not want to come out. Surprise, surprise, not at all. Um, I need a pin. Because I'm not keeping a pin in here anymore. I was. I'm not no more. But I need to keep a pin out so I have it so it clogs because I haven't used it in weeks. Okay. 
so we did go out um, in my real time. It was last weekend. Last week on Thursday, we left to go to Delaware. And we went camping. But I have to tell you, Tony and I, we're not campers. We keep trying to be campers. We're not campers. We absolutely are not campers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we're not campers. We hate it. I hate being, in, I don't hate it. That's a strong word. I shouldn't use that word. However, I immensely dislike um, sitting in a campground. And what happens is we drive all day or we drive till we get there or we drive, you know, to whatever destination is first in our category. And we, I'm going to do it this way because if any shows through, I'd rather have it be tea stain show through than the lines. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. All right. And, um... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't, can't talk and think at the same time. So we drove. We got there in pretty good time. It we're hilarious. We you know we go to the bathroom. The dog goes to the bathroom. We get in the van, right? Like that's the last thing we do before we load up in the van. Load ourselves up and the dog, and. <laughs> An hour. We get an hour down the road. We all have to stop and potty. And then we settle in, drive another hour. We all got to go potty again. <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you drink your tea, your coffee, your water before you get on the road, right? And even though we all went potty before we got in the van, three hours in a row, we had to stop on the hour to all go potty. And we used to play, blame our poor little Gabby girl, who was our little Maltese that we lost last year. Um, she got very sick and passed away. And we used to blame her for making us have to stop because she was a very, very, very nervous traveler. Well, guess what? <laughs> She's no longer with us. And plus her heart, we still have, whoopsies, we still have to stop every hour on the hour. It's just freaking ridiculous. <laughs> just, just stupid. So, yeah, getting old. Welcome to getting old. Uh, yeah, so, um, it took a little longer than it should have for that reason. And also because we will not drive very big bridges doesn't matter how high or I mean if they're high or they're long I don't I don't like the high bridges but I can do them if I set my mind to the fact that I'm just driving across the bridge and I'm going to get to the other side um Tony on the other hand <laughs> doesn't like bridges at all I hate like I will not go across a bridge that is really long and is like um like the bridges that go across florida to the keys can't do it could never in a million years drive that close to the water like it's a road with a little cement barrier on each side or whatever they have and go for miles across water nope it makes my heart flutter just to sit here and talk about it <laughs> I mean, seriously, like my heart is going nuts just talking about it. Yeah, so, um, and I will not do tunnels. Well, to get to Delaware, you either have to go from where we are in Virginia, you have to drive around D.C., and then you have to go around Baltimore, and then you have to go up and down into Delaware. Well, <laughs> well, you have to hit Maryland and then Delaware. Or we could go up to Baltimore and cut across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and go down. Or go through a tunnel. I don't do tunnels. I, I, we've done tunnels. 
I don't want to do tunnels. I don't like tunnels. So that really limits where we go. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going this way, Martha. Don't forget we're going this way because it's going on a back page. I'm so used to putting things on this page, not on this page. All right. So there, there's my story, and I'm sticking to that little mess because it's just ridiculous, I know. But, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. So it took longer than it should have or could have. But, you know, that's, that's just life sometimes, right? Isn't that life sometimes? It is. I don't like this dark, dark and that white, light. So, let's see. Yeah, I'll throw some bright yellow on there. Sure, why not? That matches everything that I'm doing, right? It's spring. I've just been drawn to spring colors lately. All right. And I think I'm going to take this white off of there. So, um, but we got there. Very pretty. Beautiful state park. Um, we enjoyed it very much. Good sight. We drove up to the site and Tony said, oh, we're not going to be level. But we were. It was uh, an optical illusion. The site was very short, but we had plenty of room. Um, so we got there on Thursday. And Friday was windy as all heck. I mean, like literally, it was so windy and I wanted to go to the beach because I love the beach and um we got to the beach and <laughs> we tried we walked down to the water I stuck my feet in the water and it was icy cold because um, it is only March <laughs> so there's that and um I'm okay with this tea stain showing through I like it And uh, poor Evan had sand all in his eyes and on his face, but he was having a blast running around on the beach. They let, they let dogs on that beach, which was ever so cool. And um, yeah, so we, we enjoyed that a lot. I picked up a few little, I collect either, I don't collect too many shells. It has to be a really special one. But I collect um, little rocks. I try to find sea glass. I've never found a good piece of sea glass in my life, which really stinks. But um, it is what it is. So let's see. I want this side. And um, so. Um, I did find myself a few little trinkets, even a little tiny, teeny tiny, a, a little piece about that long, about like that, a, of um, driftwood. And I thought it was ever so pretty. So I got that. I don't have them in here or I would show you. Um, yeah, I like that. So I was able to get that, but boy, I had on Capri leggings short leggings because it was quite warm it got up to like a 84 or something and so um my the backs of my legs were like sand blasted because <laughs> that's what it was like it was awful so we could not stay poor evan was just um getting blasted like i said Sorry, that's my uh, toaster oven. I do not have to get up and get that because it does turn itself off, thankfully. Um, I think I'll do that. So, I am uh, not baking anything, unfortunately. Oops, shoot. I am... Uh, 
um, what's it called? Seasoning. My little, I have a little, oh, come on, Martha. I know, I've got it turned around the wrong, the, the wrong way. All right, just, just do it. Just tear it. I'm usually not this picky. It's on a thick piece of paper. That's part of my problem. So, um, yeah, seasoning my cast iron pan because I cooked a couple of sausages in it. I have this cool little, it's only about this square. Well, it fits a piece of bread, you know, fits a square piece of bread. And, um, you know, sandwich bread kind of bread. And I cook all kinds of things in it, but I season it every time because it needs a lot of seasoning because it's fairly new. I'm new to cast iron, so... It's really the only cast iron, besides a flat, well, it's it's a, uh, it's a pan that flips, it's also square, I guess I like square pans, and it's a griddle on one side and a flat uh, griddle on the other. It's got the ridged griddle on one side. Anyway, I usually only use the flat side, and that's the only other cast iron I have. Um... But anywho's, so all that being said, we had a good time, but uh, we left. We were supposed to leave today, but we left early because how did I have that? <laughs> oh my gosh! How did I? You guys saw me, right? I'm just gonna put it on like that. So, uh. So Sunday was going to be very rainy and very windy, and Monday was going to be very windy again. And we just thought, you know, we're we're just gonna head home because really we we weren't ready for this trip as far as planning. Um, we've gotten way out of sync with how to plan and travel it's just really bizarre so um i i didn't know what was there to visit and do and so i don't know anyway <laughs> poor excuses <laughs> we left that's all i can tell you we left and, um, oops, let's put that on there. And so, um, we came home Saturday and it took four freaking ever to get home. Saturday on the beltways. Uh, like I said, around Baltimore and around D.C. Oh, my gosh. It was the worst, the worst experience ever. All right. Um, so we can't just leave it at collage, right? So I think I'm going to... These are some napkins that I had um, stamped on previously. And... I saw one on here I wanted. Maybe I'll just do that. I think I will. Um, sure. What was I saying? Before I so rudely interrupted myself. Um, we. I'm just gonna cut across that one. We came home, and you know, we could have stayed there. We, we just don't do really well um, just sitting around in the van and not doing anything. Now, I bring things to do. Tony brings his books to read. But it's still just not the same. It, it's um, The van is very small. And um, it's hard. It's hard to spend a lot of time inside the van. We tend to get up in the mornings and we're learning to take our times. So we used to rush around. Um, that's because Tony had a job 
And if we were going to go do any sightseeing while we were in a place, we would uh, have to rush out in the morning, get the sightseeing done, and then he would work all afternoon. And he doesn't have to do that anymore. So we are learning to take our time in the mornings and try to enjoy being there. Don't love it, but I'm going to go with it anyway. I think um, if I do this right, it'll blend in a little. I'm trying to remember to cover my glue so I can get into it again. This one as well. Uh, oh, i got to find the cap. Okay. So I'm going to use matte medium. And, oh boy, I'm going to find it brush. I almost said toothbrush. <laughs> not a toothbrush. <laughs> Please, not a toothbrush. It was really stiff. I washed it out, but it's still really stiff. So, oh, look at that. How handy is that? Let's take it right off my fingers. So, we, um, to sit around in the van during bad weather, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> We've lucked out. But, I heard on the weather, on the news, the other day, that uh, this is a La Nina year, which means it's probably going to be very wet. So we are going to have to figure out if that's what we want to do. <laughs> if we are going to travel and deal with wet weather, we are going to have to be okay being inside. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we came home. Um... And now all I want to do is go back out in the van and travel. But we have reservations next weekend. Um, not this weekend, I don't think. Uh, no, it's not this coming weekend. Should be the weekend after this because we're gone the first, second weekend in April. And this will air after that. So um, we have reservations. It's nearby. It's not that far away. Um, just to, again, get used to being in the van again. And uh, it's Tony's birthday. And so we're going to try and go see our one of our granddaughters play soccer. We will be nearby, oops, nearby where they live. Now, we have not had our second shot yet, so we still can't, like, hug the grandkids or, yeah, that stuff. Um, but we can, um, now what else do I want to do? We can, um, I am just not capable of thinking about this and talking at the same time. We can visit from far, and we should be able to go to her game unless they restrict the amount of people that they will allow. Uh, so, we're hoping that they don't restrict the amount of people and the weather doesn't stink. <laughs> um, and we will go watch her play if we can. And... If not, it'll be a good chance for us to, if it rains all weekend, it'll be a good chance for us to acclimate to living in the van and um, dealing with weather. Because eventually our plan is to travel long term and not, um, not live in it like full time forever. Uh, but we do want to go on some long, long journeys. So my crafting will be taking a back seat to that. I am, I have decided that for the van, the most efficient and easy and satisfying thing to do, the most transportable, will be slow stitching. So I have been sorting and going through kind of 
figuring out what uh, projects I might want to do. So um, that's been taking some of my time. Oopsies, shoot. And we don't generally travel in really hot weather. So June, July, and August, we don't usually travel. Um, but we'll see. I, I don't know what, I like that. I don't know what the year is going to bring. Um, nobody ever does. <laughs> All we can do is try to do our best as far as, oh, look at that. I glued right over the flap. Well, that was not bright. All right, well, I'm just going to leave it sitting up there like that because it can be like a tab. In fact, maybe what I'll do is hold that thought. Um, drawer. No, that would be backwards. If I use my tab punch, that would be backwards. So the tab would be down here. <laughs> All right. Stop blinding everybody in the camera, Martha. And stop holding your breath. Makes you breathe heavy afters, afterwards. Okay. Stop! Don't stick. It's gluey. Alright. Well, that sort of looks like a tab. Alright, so I am going to glue... That's not the right page. <laughs> Not the page I was shooting for. There it is. All right. So I am going to glue this at the top, the bottom, and this side. So I can slide something in here, and there will be a pocket there. All right. Where's my book weight? My favorite book weight. That goes over there. All right. So bottom... Come on. <sighs> Again with the pin. So yeah, so my my journal and folio making and uh, other stuff is probably going to take a break um, at least through April and May. Possibly part of June, and, um, shoot, and, um, oof. not to give too much information away before we go anywhere, um, I won't tell you anything future beyond June, <laughs> oh, darn it. Well, I'll have to fix that after. My papers are coming loose. Sir. So, all right. Ah, just stuck my hand right on where I mud podged. That's not helpful at all. Well, I really like that. I actually might put something else on it. But, you know, oftentimes I need to take a break from things. I don't know about you. Comment below if this happens to you. Do you ever get tired of doing the same craft over and over and over again? I think that's where I'm at. And that happens to me with every single craft I've ever done. Um, weaving. I've had looms. I've done weaving. I give it up. And then a few years later... I, usually I sell the looms when I give it up. A few years later, I want a different loom. I go and spend all this money on it and then get all the yarn again. And then I sell everything again, which I just did recently. I used to spin, but I only spin wool, not cotton. And I don't wear wool. So it really does me absolutely no good to spin wool. <laughs> so I'm giving up spinning. I'm going to sell my... Uh, electric spinner 
I like that. But now I got to keep my book open because um, that's wet. That's wet. That's wet. All right. So I'm going to put my book over here. I'm going to do another one. Where am I? 35 minutes. Okay. Well, if I can move a little faster, I can make the second one. I think I just fidgeted around too much with the first one. And so I'm going to use this one. This was a card from Tony. Um, this would make a very nice pocket. But again, I have to find what page I'm putting it on so I know what direction to do it in. I could actually... Do I have another plainish page? Yes, I do, right here. I think this one will go here. Hmm, how do I want to do this one? I think I'm going to do it that way. Yes. Okay, we'll leave this one sit open. And then I'm going to do this, and I might even use that as a tuck. So I'm going to leave that unglued. Put a little power behind that because it's really lumpy bumpy so i need to glue here and here i shall do that if my glue wants to work oh come on <clears throat> so um i don't know if i will i could record my slow stitching but I'll, I I don't know. I might lose might lose viewers. Um, I could record my van travels, and again, I might lose the viewers I have. But um, I'm trying to think of a channel name that if I were to share my van travels and experiences along with my crafting, what would I name it? Because I don't know that I would do that stuff on this channel. I mean, I could, but I don't know that anybody would watch. That's pretty. Pretty simple, but it's pretty. Hmm. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think below. Okay. I'll use that as a background. Why not? Why not? I am two weeks behind on the uh, 52 Chag Challenge, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> I did one. I did the week before last, but I don't like it. That, that's what I did. And I don't love it. Um, you're supposed to use the blanket stitch, and then I did these little knots around it. I don't love it, so I'll probably redo it. Um, what am I looking for? Yeah, don't love it. So, probably redo the. Oh, that side looks more colorful than that side. So, we'll do that side. So, I'm two weeks behind on that. I didn't do any stitching while we we're gone because literally we got there on a Thursday. Did we get there on a Thursday? We got there on Thursday. Friday, we um, went to the beach, and Saturday, we left. So, yeah. It took seven hours to get home. <laughs> it's supposed to be a three and a half hour drive if you take the bridge or the tunnel. <clears throat> yeah. 
And we didn't even stop that much. It was traffic. So there you go. It was not fun. Not fun at all. Well, that blends well. I think we'll just chop this side off. Probably not straight, but that's okay. Who needs straight? If I stress over straightness, I'll never get any nothing done. These are some of my jelly print, um, you know, cast offs. Not cast offs. When you when you mop up from jelly printing, that's what that is. This is not. That's something else. Okay, it's time to get something colorful on there. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, love it. Love it. And it matches the color scheme, I think. Yep. Actually, I really like. I like the purple. I like the purple. So I'm going to do the purple. Thank you, Rachel. This, of course, is from Roxy Creations. That's the other thing. I am so far behind on everybody's videos. I apologize if I normally watch you and I normally comment. I have not, like, I have been busy packing the van and organizing the van and rethinking what I've done in the van. <laughs> and I can't seem to multitask for my life anymore. I used to be able to, not so much no more. So honestly, it's just been, oh, come on. All right, be that way then. That's where you're going to stay. That's where you're going to stay. Hmm. Okay. I just have to. Let me shall. We shall overcome. That's what we shall do. Glue that. Glue this. And. We shall fold this over. <laughs> there you go. Nobody will know. Only you and I. We're the only ones who know I had to do that. Yep. Wow. That is colorful, isn't it? Okay. Oh my God, that's so pretty. This is what we were trying to accomplish when we were doing our um, marbling. <laughs> but, you know. You know what it is? This is precious and I don't want to use it. That's my problem. So yes, I will be taking a break, more than likely, from, all right, from uh, doing some of the, I'm looking for something else to use on here. Well, that's almost perfect. Um, from doing the folios and journal making and so forth. Um, when we are home, I will put... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm being carried away with color. I can't decide. Perfect, because it's got the gold in it, which ties it in. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, when we're home, I will put stuff, the physical stuff, in the shop. When we're not home, I am going to disable the physical items from the shop. So my shop will kind of be going in and out as far as what's available in there. My digitals are available all the time because I don't have to ship them. Uh, so there's that. Hopefully I did that right. Yay. Oh, I like that. I really like it. Okay. I'm going with that little piece. This is one of my jelly prints, my originals. It's not a copy. Which I do want to do some more jelly printing too. I really enjoy it. But it is a mess. You have to drag all that stuff out. Okay, so this is a simple version of the collage, of course. You can get as complicated or as simple as you want. I often make myself do something simple because not everything has to be complicated. I feel like I need something up here though. Don't you feel that way? Question is, what? Are you talking to me? Are you helping me here? There's some little, little things hidden under here. That's not going to do much good. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Make sure I rip this so I get the, uh, I don't get the white edge because I'm going to have to rip really close here. So there's already a, an RV channel called Creativity RV, but she doesn't like create on her channel. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a crafter per se as far as doing anything on her channel like that um so yeah so she stole that one <laughs> and she doesn't even do anything with it which drives me crazy yeah, i'm just going to use that one so uh, that's out, um, and I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, call it a stitching something or other, or I don't want it to be one craft because, as I said, I change crafts as often as people change underwear. <laughs> I swear, I am just really bad that way. Okay, are you not going to stick with this stuff? You are a glue. Trust me. Act as a glue. I'm trying to get the edges really like down so that as you're taking stuff in and out of the pocket, it doesn't catch on there. And I'm gonna do the rest of it so it's all cohesive looking. All I did here was I took, I sprayed some papers and then I just took my marker, my fine point marker and drew flowers, you know? And that's all I did, and I really like the way they come out, so might as well use them. Okay, so there's my other pocket. This one should be... I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. This one's dry, so I can find the other page I was going to use this on. And then this can have... This will have a pocket here, a pocket there, and a tuck spot here. Alrighty. And then we're going to call that a video. And then anytime I want, I can make tags for in there. Unless that prompt, I'm going to glue this down really tight back here. Because if I don't, I might glue it down. 
<laughs> if I don't glue that down, things going in and out of it are going to catch on it. I probably need to... I just washed this um, the last time I used it, but I think because I'm not using it often enough, it just keeps clogging the nozzle I'm talking about. So I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So, I'm, this is pretty thick and heavy. So I'm going to put quite a lot of glue on it, but I'm not putting the glue on the very edge because all you're going to do is get overflow and seepage there. When you press this down, it'll go out that way anyway. I hold it up here on the wet spot. So I try not to glue right along the very edge because then you get all that nasty stuff you got to clean up. Okay, I'm going to hold that down now. So that is prompt number 16. I can't believe it. And I will schedule this. And that will be it for that one. So again, it is use a recycled envelope and decorate it by collaging on it. Be creative in the way you use them as pockets, flips, or tuck spots. If you want to make more than one, go for it. So I made two. And I hope you'll have fun with this. Don't stress over it. Share with us on the Facebook page. Links will be in the description box below. And I would like to... Thank you ever so much for being here. As always, I'm very grateful that you come visit me. I love you all, and I send out a lot of my heart to everybody out there. Thank you so much for being here. Um, leave comments below, please. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. It does not cost you anything to be a subscriber. You don't get any weird emails. You don't, you know, you just get, if you want to be notified, um, that I have new videos, not that I'm coming out with them that often, but if you want to be notified, you hit the bell. I don't hit the bell on most. I really don't, honestly, but I do subscribe because it means a lot to those that you subscribe to. Um, subscribers count. You'll show up in the YouTube algorithm more often as a suggested video. So please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. I love you all. Grateful for you being here. Stay well, stay healthy, get your shot, please. So the rest of us can all go back to somewhat normalcy and be well. I send you lots of love and happy crafting. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody.